So my next question to you is if one has developed alcoholic cirrhosis then is there a treatment for it can it be reversed uh, good question so you know alcoholic liver cirrhosis is a mixed bag so there are basically three stages we call it stage a stage b and stage c I mean, there is a term to it it's called child's class a b and c but nevertheless it means three grades so those who are in the early phase that's you know child's a uh, the first and foremost thing is of course abstinence so once you abstain from alcohol further damage does not occur and quite a few of the liver cells which are on the brink you know they are damaged but not dead so they can come back and be recruited as a part of the liver uh, you know health of the healthy liver so many of them with early child's a cirrhosis are able to live comfortably and live to normal life expectancy without too much of a problem but yes they need vitamin supplements especially there is a particular vitamin called thiamine which needs to be given they need to be given a high protein diet preferably vegetable sources of high protein they need to look after other aspects of nutrition and two other parts one is that they have to have a healthy lifestyle and many of them who have been habituated to alcohol and they stop they could often feel very depressed and without a sense of purpose or a very listless life so that part of uh, shall we say life also needs attention both medically and socially child's a cirrhosis one has to just watch out for one or two complications one is called portal hypertension so sometimes you know there are veins in the food pipe and one can bleed from them so you have blood vomiting or black stools so they are managed endoscopically and if suppose uh, somebody has developed cirrhosis he should be on a 6 monthly or a yearly program to look for any development of liver cell cancer which i just mentioned if somebody has gone into the next stage that is child's b or child's c you know that's the b or c categories there there is a little problem that you know they usually have swelling of the feet water in the abdomen may have jaundice they might sometimes be encephalopathic that's you know a bit drowsy so the first part of stopping alcohol still applies absolutely to them as well thiamine supplementation is very important but one has to try and see that how much is the recovery if at all and if it does not occur then sometimes they might have to get their liver replaced by a fresh new liver called a liver transplantation so child c cirrhosis certainly the debate is on at the point in time that whether a person who has just recently stopped alcohol or is still drinking and has developed advanced cirrhosis should he go in for a liver transplant right away because you see if he is not mentally prepared if he has not been weaned off alcohol and it's quite likely that after he gets a new liver he is going to go back to alcohol again now that's a moral debate that goes on that whether the relative should be put to risk to give part of his liver for that person but that's another topic altogether but that's the way we normally look at liver cirrhosis so we're talking about the treatment you mentioned there are uh, three phases child phase 1 2 and 3 so and the treatment for we them, call it abc A, B, uh, no problem and uh, the treatment for them involves vitamins for the first phase basically involves vitamin supplement protein rich diet nutrition and healthy lifestyle and if someone reaches to further stages then thiamine supplement can help and liver transplant is the last for the last stage if the damage is too much 